June 8, 1920. <laughs> what I do know is they taught me to smoke. <laughs> I used to go out with them, they offered me a cigarette. I said, no, nah, I don't. So I said, I, 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 they all smoke, so I bought a pack of cigarettes and I went up in the back of our garage, opened them up and puffed one and I couldn't walk to the house. <laughs> So what kind of cigarettes were they, dear? Lucky Strikes. Yeah. Lucky Strikes. The old-fashioned Lucky Strike. I decided it was time to kick Hitler's ass. <laughs> Why did you choose Air Force? Uh, I wanted to fly. It turned out I didn't. I was an aircraft and glider inspector. Where did you do your basic training? Miami Beach. <laughs> to Ohio to be assigned. And that's where I was. I was assigned to, to, to the troop carrier. They lacked one man for their inspection team. They had a radio inspector and they had two aircraft, or three aircraft inspectors. And they, they lacked one inspector and that's how I landed in there as an inspector. Queen Mary, yeah, Queen Mary. We were the only ones, that's what I, we loaded it at New York, and we were the only ship that could go without an escort. Ah. The reason was they would, and the subs couldn't pick them up. When something was changed, they called them T TOs. Tech orders, changes. You 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 went around to the airplanes and the gliders and visual. It was a mostly a visual inspection. A glider, a glider had a nose that opened up and it would take. You could run a jeep in there or howitzer guns, or you could haul ground troops in a glider. The airplane C-47s hauled paratroopers, 13 paratroopers in, in all over Cherbourg. The paratroopers we're, we're supposed to and did a good job of making it safer for the ground troops to land. We had a hundred and some gliders. They used to haul gliders, two on tow, one above the other. Yeah. We, everybody knew we were going to hit France. France planted a lot of hedgerows, and that's what our gliders ran into. When the glider pilots landed in the, in the hedgerows, busted up, gliders were all tubing. The English gliders were plywood. The English lined their gliders up and never took them off. <laughs> they were a big, cumbersome looking thing. Our gliders lined up to C-47, was on a landing strip, and the gliders were on the side. They could, 
the plane could cut gliders loose from their tail. There was a coupling, and the glider pilots could cut loose. The uh, there was a coupling. All they had to do was to pull when they got over 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 their landing strip. We had C forty sevens. We hauled paratroopers in Cherbourg, and we hauled gliders into France. Glider pilots told me some things that weren't nice. When they landed, they, there were troops there, two underground French troops, and they were prisoners. And they took them back to the canal. What are you going to do with them? They shot them. They were very, very, very untasteful. But that was told to me by glider pilots. They flew across Cherbourg with, with uh, paratroopers. And the paratroopers were supposed to clear it out, make it as safe as possible, the paratroopers. They were, uh, I remember, I think there was 13 uh, fair troopers in a C-47. They went in with pair packs. That's a bundle, four, four bundles under a C-47. And that was with supplies, red meaning uh, ammunition. White, white was medical, and different colored shoots told the the, the, uh, the people on the ground what to, what to go for. Headquarters had an L five that that was a two place, and the glider pilots were, were supposed to get in. So many hours I forget in that L5, and I used to go up with the, with the glider pilot flying with him. Okay, so you got some hours in. Yeah. Where were you stationed? Milan, France. We took some of her Patton's people over. Patton. Patton arrived one night. And the next day, they loaded them on a 47 and took them. And what was the st story? They said, fat and saying was, when you got him on a run, you the <laughs> night that he came to our field, I, I was fortunate enough to be in headquarters, and I seen Patton. I'm sure you've seen pictures of the landing troops, landing barges. It was a bloody mess. Yeah. Many, many never made it. And You're talking about D-Day. Yeah, I was safe. safe in my base. On D-Day, I, 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 I was out on a line, you know, like I say, the, the planes, our planes were all lined up. I was just muzzling around. The fair troops, were part of D-Day, okay. the paratrooper. They were, they were a, a rough and rugged bunch of guys. When you left the service, what was your rank? Tech. A buck is three up. A, a staff is three up. 
in Iraq or in a tech is three up and two rockers. Ah, so it was a tech, a tech sergeant. Why do we fight wars? Yeah, no fight wars. Try to figure out a different solution. Why? Why? Why did we let Hitler get as big as he as he was? We knew what he was doing, but we didn't do anything. I was lucky. A lot of my friends didn't make it. Luck, yeah. This has been wonderful. We thank you and we salute you. What? For your service and sharing your story today.